What is going on, YouTube people? New Cards of Comics here today. I have a little package from the Tops company. If you remember, or if you don't, back in January, I was ripping some old wax and I opened a box of 2022 Tops Chrome Sapphire. In it, I hit an O'Neill Cruz rookie orange sapphire auto out of 25 on card auto. The bottom corner was smashed. Unfortunately, had a really big crease and it was <coughs> really jacked up. I said, ah, what the heck? Let's send it off to tops to see what happens. That was January 30th. Uh, I think the, the card was already out the door. I published the video on January 30th. So late January. Uh, we are now April 2nd when I am recording this video in the afternoon, and I got a package in the mail from Tops. Now, I opened it already. I knew what the contents were. Uh, they send you an email to let you know that this is on the way. I didn't realize what it was when I got the email, so I clicked it and I read it, so I already opened it up. There is no uh, blind review here. So this basically took about 60 days door to door, just so you kind of have a, a, a reference. Now, let me preface this. Their stated policy is one year post release, you can send stuff in and potentially get it replaced. Mine was one month over the year. So I had low expectations to begin with. I figured, you know, what the heck, we'll roll the dice. If nothing else, it'll just be a good experience. I had never sent anything back before to kind of see how they handle it. Well, we got this nice little postcard back in the mail. And as you can see, your original card, past year product, we are not able to replace. Not surprised by that. Now, they did, so I got the card back. Still sealed up in the seal there uh, and once again that is the corner that is jacked up got a big old crease in it there you can't see it as much from the front uh, you can see it a little bit there that little that's not a sapphire thing that is the crease on the front of the card so even the chrome part of the card creased Sucks because he's off to a really nice start to the season as well at a very hot spring. They did include, so I got a little something for my troubles, two packs of 2019 Tops Chrome Sapphire. Uh, so we'll go ahead and open these really quick. Um, not terrible packs to get. This is Tatis, Vlad, Kyle Tucker, um, all their rookie years, plus Otani, Soto, Acuna, or their stuff sells pretty decent out of here. I guess a chance for numbered parallels, maybe an auto. I don't know. We'll see. So we'll open those up. So that's, so I sent the card off. No replacement, unfortunately, which like I said, I'm not going to sit here and be some entitled little child uh, and throw a hissy fit that they didn't fix my damaged card. I knew going in that it was over the year stated time. Um, and I think I think what happens is they hold on extra cards for so long. And then after the year is up, I'm imagining they use those for something else. I don't know for sure. Maybe they use them for different buybacks, different other, other damage card replacements that come in throughout the year. I don't really know. And I don't even know if they had one of these specifically laying around, even if it was under a year. I might have got a different card back of equivalent value uh, or something different. You don't really know for sure. So, like I said, I, I'm not pissed that they didn't replace the card. I had a feeling it was going to head that way. I figured it was worth the shot. I guess nice of them to throw me a couple packs to open up. So we'll see. Are these the juiced influencer packs? Uh, are these the juiced damage replacement packs? So I don't think I've ever actually opened up 2019 Sapphire before. I've had a Vlad Sapphire at one point in time from this product. This year of Sapphire is more 
um, cracked ice than sapphire on this. All right, so I don't see any color. So we're basically, oh, we got an auto. Rowdy Telez, on card sapphire rookie auto. Martinez and a Kevin Kramer. So two rookies, one of which being an auto. Do I not have? I did not put penny sleeves on. I do have penny sleeves. Please hold. So we got the rookie auto, unfortunately. No one's super crazy on that one. This card coming to a Com C submission video very soon. All right, so I'll set that off to the side. All right, one pack to go. Come on. Tatis, Vlad, even take a Kyle Tucker. And we got a Javi Baez on the back. Spoilers. All right. Jorge Soler. Oh, we got some color, it looks like. We got a green. The Yankee Stadium, rip. We know it's Javi Baez on the back. Uh, orange down at the bottom, potentially Kyle Tucker. That's an R, that's not Kyle Tucker. Josh Rogers, and that's not even a green, that's just the grass. I thought maybe it was, I saw the green up in the corner. I thought maybe it was a green parallel. So just the base. Womp womp. So free packs. I'm not gonna sit here and cry a river over getting two packs of Sapphire. We did hit a rookie on card auto. So I can't complain too, too much on that. I have no idea what this goes for. Probably like five bucks. If I'm lucky, maybe 10. So a two month wait time to get a couple packs of Sapphire to open up. Um, not sure what I'm gonna do with this card. I'll have to look to see if any had sold recently. Last I looked when I sent this off, none had. I am guessing maybe there was some movement just because he's been so hot this spring that maybe his stuff shifted a little bit and then figure out how I want to price this thing. Selling damaged cards is a real pain in the butt because no one knows how to value them correctly. What is probably ultimately going to happen here is... I'll probably shop it around this weekend and see what happens. And then if it nothing happens, I'll probably just throw it on eBay at a 99 cent auction and let it rip uh, and see how she comes out. It sucked because the rest of the card looked really clean. The surface was great. It is very well centered, um, but that corner is toast, absolute toast. A little bit harder to see in the top loader you can see it right there uh, and once again that crease it's not just the back of the card it goes all the way through the chrome uh, the chrome is scrunched up too and it's even the alpha one out of 25 so poor o'neill cruz he's broken he's injury prone and apparently his cards are injury prone as well but what are you gonna do so that was my experience with the tops damage replacement like I said, I had a feeling it was going to head this way. Nice of them to throw me a couple packs to open up. Unfortunately, we didn't hit anything too crazy. Curious for your thoughts and comments, as always, down below. We'll catch you boys and girls on the next one. Peace.